you do the same things in the same way because we're creatures of habit, but is that producing the results that you want? Mm -hmm. Right. And so it's like you start shifting that starting with your heart focused meditation. Like I said, it doesn't have to be an hour, but five to 10 minutes in the morning, we show drastic results, drastic or dramatic, whatever you want to call it. Um, both one and the same, you know, right? So you start doing that. Now the things you're doing, you're going about differently because you're coming from a state of balance and you're coming from a state of ease and not a state of hurry. All right, on today's episode, we talk about a couple habits that you can start doing in the morning to set yourself up for better growth, better daily growth, better success. Uh, and a couple these couple things are heart-focused meditation first thing in the morning and then grounding slash earthing. So we talk about those. Hopefully this resonates and we hope you enjoy. All right, welcome back to the Healing Works podcast. It's just Alti and myself today, so just us. Another another dose of just the two of us, <laughs> but hopefully that's good. Um, but yeah, uh, we're uh, really excited to talk about grounding today or earthing, mm -hmm. right? Well, I mean, we're going to incorporate it into the non negotiables. Oh, that's going to be huh, the main sorry. focus. Yep. So yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> we already uh, lost. Our I went a little off. out of order, but that's okay. So today we're going to talk about some non negotiables every day. <laughs> that will set you up for daily success. And with that daily success, it's all about obviously success is based off consistency and, and not primarily based, but you know, if you are consistent in things uh, for growth, the default will be improvements in every area. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we want to talk about a couple major things that, that we subscribe to that we, you know, encourage all of our clients our individual clients and then uh, our, our our clients that join our Raise Your Vibration call on a weekly basis to do on the daily, uh, especially in the morning, to set yourself up for um, openness, to set yourself up for, you know, acceptance, to set yourself up for, you know, that 1% increase daily if you have read um, Atomic, Atomic Habits, Habits by James Clear, right? Great book. Mm -hmm. um, but that 1% incrementally, which isn't very much, right? 1%. If you give a hundred percent every day, 1% is not that much more. Mm -hmm. Or even if you give 50%, you know, 1% isn't that much more, but how can we increase though, you know, increase our growth uh, on a daily basis? Because we just had, uh, Heather D's on a couple episodes ago. Uh, and she's, you know, an, an IFBB pro, which means a bodybuilder, a pro bodybuilder, but you know, her, what she said and what we say too all the time is you're either, you're either progressing or you're digressing. There's no middle ground. Mm -hmm. Right. So let's talk about that. So a couple things you can do every day, um, is what, um, one is going to be grounding. Like mm -hmm. I said, I mean, probably one should be, you know, heart focused breathing. That's probably, <laughs> yeah, one A, one B, right? Yeah. Well, but if you do your heart focused breathing first, first thing, yeah. I mean, we so, usually do it before we get out of bed. Yeah. And then go so, around, so upon waking, um, not only is this uh, very heavily studied, uh, but there are several people that recommend it. Dr. Joda, I mean, not only heart math, um, all of our trainers, including myself with heart math, our lead psychophysiologist, um, everyone at heart math that has studied this over 400 peer reviewed studies on the heart math. end, you know, it's not just someone that had a good idea. It's not just theory. Yeah. But, but 400 peer reviewed studies on heart math. Um, Dr. Joe Dispenza, um, I, Greg Braden, Greg Braden, uh, he's a geologist, but great, great individual act like we know him, but you know, by I mean, association, kind of like yeah. <laughs> by, by association, <laughs> they don't know um, us. We know yeah, them. Yeah. Um, but you know, several people first, first thing upon waking, if you have your heart rate variability monitor, which will 
you know, HeartMath has an app, the Interbalance app, that will show you what your heart rate variability is. Again, if you forgot, heart rate variability is the beat to beat variation in your heartbeats. That tells a story. That tells the story of your emotional attitudes in the moment. Those emotional attitudes drive nervous system activity and brain function. So, well, and it's an instrument. It's kind of like if you are really focusing on your physical fitness and you're using a scale as, as a metric to measure pro- progression, you know, depending on what you, if you're trying to lose fat or gain muscle, it's, it's a way to measure your progress. Or even and, heart rate monitor. I mean, what? Similar. Yeah. Well, I'm just, like yes. In, in physical fitness, like yes. a heart rate monitor. Exactly. So people I'm just know saying, when they're in their fat burning zones exactly. and they know when, you know. Yes, exactly. It's a way to measure your progress, your progression. So, so it's just an instrument. So it's not like, um, you know, it's just, it's just helpful to know where you're at to, to be able to measure the state that you're in. If you're going to be training your, your nervous system, right. it's, it's great feedback to be able to tell like where you're at and maybe where you need improvement and, um, so it's not guessing it's, is my point is it's like, right. where's my weight? I have no idea. I don't have a scale. Well, right. if you're going to watch for, you're going to want to, you know, see the progress. So it's just an instrument to measure. Yeah. If you woke up and you know, you weigh yourself, I probably don't recommend to the masses that you weigh yourself every day, but you know, it, it's that, that if you can, without emotionality behind it and mm-hmm. not get pissed attachment. off or stressed out and attachment, then fantastic, um, to see progress. I love to see where I'm at, you know, see progress. And sometimes weight doesn't change on a daily basis either. And depends on sleep and depends on, you know, I'll leave that to the nutritionists, but, um, but data is what reinforces progression, progression. Right. Mm -hmm. And so with your heart rate variability monitor, every day is not going to be an increase, right? An improvement, but like anything else, there's never a bad moment spent in meditation or in heart focused breathing because all of the other variables, right? Just like there's never a bad workout. It just depends on what your attitude is around. It depends on your effort level. You know, my effort level getting there to the gym. Yeah. My effort level today at the gym, as soon as we get done recording, we're a little behind today. Like I'm not going to eat as much as I usually do, but that's totally fine. But it's like maybe my my strength won't be as high as it was a week ago on this particular, you know, on arms today. But the effort of lifting the weights in an effort to increase muscle and everything like that, increase strength and increase muscle size, like it's it's never wasted, mm-hmm. right? So the same thing with, with your heart-focused breathing and your heart-focused meditation first thing in the morning. Because when you wake up, as I pound the table, because when you wake up, your brain is coming out of deep sleep. And then as you wake up, your brain shifts into that theta brainwave state. That's that programmable state into the subconscious window. Whatever you do first thing will start the, not only the production of your hormones that day, but will start to uh, produce the identity and the, the attitudes and the emotions and thoughts that you will be driven by the rest of that day. So most people wake up and immediately reach for their phone, right? The first stressor of the day. Boom. Yep. That immediately induces stress. Your day's not going to go as well as if first thing upon waking, Uh, You grab your phone, but to turn on your inner balance app, turn on your heart rate variability monitor, not to check your texts, not to check your Instagram, not to check your TikToks, your Facebooks, you know, all the social medias. I just named all of them. And then I say all the social medias or YouTube or, you know, the news or, you know, anything else, your appointments, your meetings or anything like that. But the first thing you do is you wake up, you grab your heart rate variability monitor, you turn on your inner balance app, you turn on 432 hertz, uh, solfeggio tone music on YouTube, and you spend 10 minutes, at least five, five to 10 minutes upon waking, getting into a heart brain coherent state. Now, while you're doing that, you know, you, you know, you first take the cup, the first two minutes or so and focus that attention in the area of your heart. Then as soon as that's, you know, you're, 
you're focusing there, you're breathing rhythmically five seconds in, about seven to eight seconds out, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Then you shift your emotion. After you shift your emotion and you're feeling gratitude, you're feeling appreciation, you're feeling compassion or care or love or peace or ease or calm, then you start constructing your day, really creating your day. You start thinking, how am I going to go about these things I have on my schedule today? What attitudes am I going to carry into them? Visualize the attack, right? What's that on? Visualize the attack. I don't know. That's on Waterboy. Oh, <laughs> um, I was thinking like a movie. I got movie. some good pop culture references uh. the last couple of days, but uh, um, visualize yourself handling everything well. Visualize yourself creating in that day. Now we start the manifestation process in this heart-brain coherent state because your heart intuition and heart intelligence is expanded. Your higher cognitive functions of your brain are expanded. That includes especially the frontal cortex where all your imagination, all your attention, all your intention creation happens with the frontal cortex and the heart in combination. Now you start visualizing what you want, what you desire, what you want to create, what, you know, extra abundance, better relationships. When you spend that 10 minutes every morning, which honestly is one of the best things you can do, if not the best thing you can do, mm -hmm. I'm going to say the best thing you can do mm -hmm. really like you spend that first 10 minutes. Look, if you're like me and you wake up and you got to go to the bathroom really fast, um, go to the bathroom, come right back. Maybe TMI come right. And I don't think that's TMI go to the bathroom, come back. Stay in that groggy state, climb back in bed or sit in a chair and get that 10, five to 10 minutes in every morning. Your life will start changing dramatically. Well, I think the benefit too is you're still in that, that theta brainwave state. So it is programmable. So you're coming out of it. But then as you come out of it, you're setting your day up in a state of balance right. and you're setting the tone for the day and reminding your nervous system that you're, you're in charge. You're reminding the body that your conscious, your conscious awareness, your intention is in charge, not the body running the show. And so often I think people, you know, they, they explain it to me. I, I just get up in a state of anxiety and I hit the ground running. Yep. And that is such a conditioned response. And it's just what we're used to. It's just a habit. Well, it's a victim response too. Like, condition the body to do yeah. that. And that's, and, and it's like, they don't know that there's another option, a better way to do it. So if you can wake up, and retrain the body in that state and start there, it's an easier time to do it anyway, as far as, you know, you don't have to break away from doing anything and you're already in that theta brainwave state. Um, and so that's going to be your, the easiest time, the most beneficial time to do that, to set up your day in a state of balance and then, you know, work your day from there. Well, and then watch your, your morning habits kind of shift, right? Because most of us, um, get up, we grab our phones, we induce stress and we're like, holy crap, what do I got to do today? And blah, 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 blah. And this guy and this said person said this and Instagram said that and yada, yada, yada. Then it's like, then you go, you know, to the bathroom the same way you, you take the shower the same way you eat the same way you do the same things in the same way because we're creatures of habit. But is that producing the results that you want? Mm -hmm. Right. And so it's like you start shifting that starting with your heart focused meditation, like I said, doesn't have to be an hour, but five to 10 minutes in the morning, we show drastic results, drastic or dramatic, whatever you want to call it. Um, both one and the same, you know, right? So you start doing that. Now the things you're doing, you're going about differently because you're coming from a state of balance and you're coming from a state of ease and not a state of hurry. Stress, right. Joe anxiety. Dispenza always say you hurry up and do this and you hurry up. and do mm -hmm. that. I love yeah. Joe Dispenza. But anyway, um, instead of doing things from a rush perspective, you're doing things from a more balanced state and a state of gratitude and a state of appreciation or a state of calmness. Right. And look, if you're, you know, if you're listening to this and you're like, well, you know, I barely have enough time to get ready to get out to work, then set your alarm clock 20 minutes earlier and take 10 minutes of that and do your heart focused meditation. Like if you want, and if you want better ideas on how to do that, you know, that's what we teach every week on Wednesday on our calls. Um, but, and, and then remove the emotions on top of it, but that state of balance will set up your day. And then even if, you know, 
you're leaving a little late to work or late to get to whatever you're trying to get to, being in that state of ease and that state of coherence rather than that stress, you're going to handle that situation so much better anyway. So it's 10 minutes. The best 10 minutes you can spend of, of the morning is right there. Well, and as you elevate your vibrational frequency, because you're more in a state of peace and calm and from heart, things start flowing ways open up. You hit all the green lights. You, you know what I mean? Yep, it's like uh, absolutely. everything, the, the, the way kind of just opens up for you. The universe gives you a vibrational match. And so, you know, you're not, you're not in so much stress and hitting all the red lights and causing so much more frustration. And then you just keep producing more and more and finding that vibrational match in the universe as you go throughout your day. It's a huge, um, conservation of energy really. Yeah. So that 10 minutes will save you <clears throat> a lot more than it's going to cost you in time by right. a long shot. Right. And instead of being a victim to the external circumstances of the cars in the way and the time and everything like that, you're in a state of creation. You're in a state of control, right? Living life by coherence. I may change that in what we say instead of acceptance and coherence because that's even better, mm -hmm. I think. Right. Uh, a, a state of coherence versus a state of resistance, right? That state of resistance and like, oh, crap, I'm going to be late. And oh, crap, I'm going to do this. And crap, and blah, right? Always chasing that stress. Instead, we want to be ahead of that and we want to create from a state of coherence, right? Now, like you said, things start falling into place. Things like, you know, you search, you start looking for serendipities. You start looking for, you know, synchronicities that are going on because nothing's by coincidence. It's mm -hmm. all by creation. So mm -hmm. you're either creating from stress, which is going to produce more stress, or you're creating from coherence. And when the body systems, heart, mind and nervous system are in a coherent balance, that means everything else in the body is in a coherent balance. So you're starting the day off producing high levels of DHEA, high levels of HGH, human growth hormone, high levels of uh, balanced levels of dopamine and serotonin, uh, production, high production of uh, uh, oxytocin from the heart. And you're feeling really good. Not only are you feeling really good, but you're extending that that place of recovery from that night's sleep mm -hmm. instead of flooding the body with cortisol and adrenaline, which is good in the short term, but in the long term, it down regulates your cells, which causes sickness, illness, and disease. Right. Like we really should not be sick. Right. Right. All these sniffles and everything like that. Like the only reason we get sick is because of co or is because of, I almost said because of COVID. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, is because of stress. Mm-hmm. Obviously, I relate COVID to stress. <laughs> um, it's a Freudian slip. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But yeah, that's the only reason we're getting sick is because we're not good at managing. Uh, I mean, that, that's kind of a negative connotation. We're not good at managing our stress. We're not good at staying in coherence. Yeah. I'm going to spin it that way, right? We're not good at, uh, at staying in coherence, but you can say we're not good at managing our stress. We're really, you know, most people are not. Mm-hmm. Right. right. So, well, which brings us to the next, I think, non-negotiable yes. for the day, Yes. Um, which is grounding. So if you set your day up with, with, uh, doing your heart focused breathing and getting in coherence, then you are balancing your nervous system. First thing, three to five to 10 minutes. I mean, so easy. The next thing would be grounding. And there are so many benefits, um, that have been studied to earthing or grounding. So if you can get your nervous system in balance and then go outside and, you know, there's, there's, they, they make grounding mats. If, you know, going outside isn't a possibility. Um, you know, there's some options if it's like, there's just no way, um, that I can get outside. Even though we ground, I ground on the snow, you know, it snows here in Salt Lake and I'll clear a little, um, I mean, sometimes I stand in the snow and I don't last very long, but a lot of times I'll just move a little patch and stand on the grass and, and just make that connection to the earth. So I'm, I'm in coherence and then I go out and I, and I do my grounding, which then, um, allows any of that positive charge that's in the body to be absorbed by the earth. And it's an exchange. The earth has a negative charge, which is seems backwards, but 
that positive charge is what makes electrical um, what objects, electrical beings, devices. electrical <laughs> devices, short circuit. Which is why when we have this electrical charge, this positive electrical charge of all these emotions, you know, our systems can short circuit. And so when we when we step on the earth and we ground that energy, I mean, we ground electrical devices. We're not an electrical device, but we are beings of electricity. Well, and we carry we so an much more. Device, but yeah, I mean, depends on how loose you want to describe device. Right. Yeah, I mean, but either way. Yeah, we carry an electrical charge. We carry that... the most electricity of anything that exists. Exactly. Really, right? Yes. And so if we're grounding our... Um, 3.5 trillion volts. Yeah. So, if we're grounding our computers, because we don't want them to short out if there's an electrical surge. Or a car battery. Uh, yeah. Then, I mean, how important is it to ground our... Um, yeah, if you don't ground your car battery and you go to jump someone else's, what happens? Boom. Yeah. I've seen it. Sparks fly. Yes. It can so really can wreck the that. whole electrical system in another car. Yes. But look at that. Like, sorry, I'm, go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm just saying, look at the, the one car battery. If you hook another car battery up to another car battery and that's not properly grounded, you get sparks. You cause electrical failure in the electrical wiring of that other car and even your car. But look at that battery. Those are two 12 volt batteries. Mm -hmm. We have the equivalent of 3.5 billion car batteries in our body. So you're looking yeah. at two batteries. Yeah. So when people diminish how much energy we have in our body and diminish like grounding and diminish these things, like you got to start opening up people's minds because I mean, this stuff works. Yes. Right. So like you said, go back, like the earth has an, a, a negative charge that, has the ability to pull the 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 positive ions and negative ions out of the body, but it's that energetic exchange of negative and positive which helps balance things out. Yep. And that's why you feel balanced in nature because we're connecting to the earth, the earth magma magnetic field. And so for, you know, we wanted to talk about these two things that can really set your day up. You know, there's other things that people like to incorporate like journaling or you know, maybe their to-do list or um, reading and, and stuff like that. But to us, you know, from what our experience is, those are two that are a number one top priority to get centered and balanced first thing in the morning. And if you want to throw in like body movement in there, like get up, move your body, get mm -hmm. up and, you know, jumping jacks, sit-ups, push-ups, you know, walk. Move that stagnant energy. At some point during the day, it doesn't have to be first thing, but you should also, you know, aim for, you know, a short walk every day or get some steps in, right? Eight to 10,000 steps, seven to 10,000 steps even. Yeah. Um, but yeah, those two things, grounding, when we look back to grounding, when we look at that, I mean, if you're a nature lover, uh, this will resonate with you because it's true. <laughs> but when you're out in nature, and you're away from the harmful EMFs or electromagnetic fields like Wi-Fi, microwaves, um, cell phone towers, Bluetooth, uh, Bluetooth um, television signal, you know, all of these electromagnetic fields, um, you know, we can have another discussion of, of are they harmful? Eh, they just aren't of benefit to you. But when you get away from those and you're out and you can experience the magnetic field, the electromagnetic field of the earth. Um, because we measure that at heart math, we measure the the magnetic field of the earth. We can, uh, NASA just recently took new pictures of it. Um, you can see it, uh, with their, you know, with their cameras of that pickup magnetic field, but, um, really cool looking, but also that magnetic field of the earth is what keeps everything thriving, which keeps all the ecosystems running, which keeps life, you know, life going that electromagnet that magnetic field of the earth uh the frequency resonates at 0 0.1 hertz the beauty of that and the power in that is that your heart's magnetic field under love under elevated emotions also resonates at and operates at 0 0.1 hertz so when you are in that coherent state you are balanced with the earth add that that's why you do that first then go you know Put your bare feet on the grass, put your bare feet on the, you know, the dirt, 
now you're having an even exchange of energy with the earth and the earth has the ability to pull those negative emotions out of your magnetic field that your body produces, right? Your heart and your brain and everything that's synced with those. And so, um, like I said, going back to, if you're a nature lover, when you're out camping, it's really hard to have arguments or be upset when you're at the beach. I mean, like really take, take notice, Mm -hmm. you know, take inventory when you're at the beach, how many couples do you see arguing Mm -hmm. (laughs) or how many kids do you see upset and have frowns on their face? Right. And look, like you could say, well, it's because the beach is beautiful. Yeah, I agree. But it's because you got bare feet in the sand. The salt water of the ocean actually has the same uh, molecular makeup as our body does, except it adds iron, Mm -hmm. which is good. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, And so when you're balanced in nature, you know, it's really difficult to be angry or upset or worried or concerned. That's why a lot of people need vitamin C, right? S E A. You're stressed out. I need more vitamin C. I agree. Me too. Yeah. Um, but you know, you go to the beach, that's, you start seeing things clearly. Mm-hmm. You start, you know, coming up with new ideas. A lot of people go and reset and go to a beach, right? Absolutely. And the, the soothing sounds of the waves crashing, everything like that, like the balance of nature, you know, look, God knew what he was doing. Mm-hmm. Um, well, and they've done studies too with animals in nature. Animals in nature don't mm-hmm. have cancer. They don't have high blood pressure. They don't have diabetes. They don't have all these diseases that um, animals have that are cooped up in our houses and are really taking on our imbalances. That's kind of scary. Emotions. I know. <laughs> when you really look at it. Earth, but that's, I mean, they have done extensive studies on that and, yeah. it, and it makes sense. I mean, they're, they're out in nature and they're connected to the earth. And um, so they're I eating think, from the earth mm-hmm. they're yeah. I, I mean, it's, that's it's a highly, it's highly beneficial. That's a really good point that you see, like, you know, we have dogs and we have cats, but you see cats with, you know, tumors, tumors. You see, um, in fact, my cat Max died of, uh, uh, pancreatic tumor, right? It was in the stomach. Uh, he had pancreatitis. Pancreatitis. Sorry, but he did have a, a tumor, Big tumor in his stomach, in his stomach, um, Poor Max. He was a great cat. Uh, not poor Max, but poor us now. But anyway, no. Uh, but our dogs too, right? We have dogs. Mm-hmm. But when you look at, you know, it is also, uh, we've done, uh, Heart Math has done studies on that of of animals picking up with their electromagnetic fields because dogs lead a lot by heart, dogs and horses, right? But most animals, you know, you look at cats and they're purring that vibration of the purr is actually a healing mechanism. Mm -hmm. So if you're injured or you don't feel good and your cat comes and sits on your chest and starts purring, it's because your cat's trying to help you. Mm -hmm. Right. Which is really cool. But in nature, right. They've done, like you just said, several studies where they don't see these physical ailments, physical ailments or diseases arise in the animals that are constantly in nature. And that could also be because they're not exposed to heavy emotion that, Mm -hmm. that, you know, our animals are in our homes too. But I think a lot of it, you know, a lot of it's that, but I think the other half of it also is, is not being balanced out by the earth. Right. Right. And so, yeah, for all you animal lovers out there, being in a state of coherence and, and grounding is highly beneficial for your animals too. And if you want to really be efficient, when it's nice outside, come spring, I like to do my heart-focused breathing while I'm grounded. Yes. So while well, well, while I'm grounding. You want to so add I'll, fuel to that? To that. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. I mean, we have our, our little um, retaining wall and it's got a, you know some steps down and it's perfect. Like the second step up, I can sit on that and put my feet on the grass and it's facing the sun in the morning. And, and so I feel like I can get my sun gazing in too, let the sun hit my brow chakra and yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm accomplishing three, three different things. I'm doing my meditation. I'm getting in heart brain coherence. I'm grounding and, um, and I'm, you know, letting the sun hit my, hit my face and fill up. I, I visualize it filling up my, my field, my electromagnetic Oh yeah. And by field. the way, the sun is healing too. Exactly. I mean, um, people used to put their clothes out on, on to hang dry and not just because there wasn't dryers available too, but then, you know, the sun would also, 
uh, dissolve or remove stains, remove stains mm -hmm. from clothing. I mean, you know, I think all I think all comic book is like based off of reality. Like mm -hmm. Superman gets his power from the sun. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, we're the absolutely. same way. I mean, photosynthesis. I you can dive into you know biology and things like that too. We won't we'll, we'll keep it pretty high level or surface level. Um, but yeah, being out in the sun, and I brought up COVID earlier, but that like, sorry, but during COVID they told you to stay inside. What does the sun major produce, majorly produce? Vitamin, vitamin D, D absorption. And it's like, or not absorption, but produces vitamin D that your skin absorbs. And it's like, what is one of the main combatants of COVID? Vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Weird. Yeah, so anyway, I don't want to get into conspiracy <laughs> all, theories, other, but like, uh, area, but, but since I Freudian slipped COVID earlier, uh, just because I was thinking of that, it's, right? It's the because, sun heals. yeah. So if we can get outside, be outside, heart focus, breathe, get in coherent state, do your grounding, like you will stay healthy. Like, There's, there are so many benefits to grounding too that they've um, studied with inflammation, and I mean with inflammation blood viscosity exactly yeah and with blood, with any time you've got pain you've got inflammation in the body so it it, it reduces inflammation significantly so um there's you know, just so many that. benefits to um starting your day off in a state of balance um with your nervous system and and really with intention and that's what we really want to focus on is like okay how do we set this up to um so we're not in hitting the ground running in a state of stress. What are the most beneficial things that you can do and getting into coherence first thing and, and grounding and um, setting your day up properly is highly beneficial. Yeah. And one last thing I wanted to read this. So this is the summary of findings to date from grounding or earthing it says grounding appears to improve sleep. Most, you know, most people suffer from lack of really good sleep. Uh, so does uh, getting into coherence, heart mm -hmm. focus, breathing right before sleep. So do them both. Um, normalize the day-night cortisol rhythm, reduce pain, reduce stress, shift the autonomic nervous system from sympathetic towards parasympathetic activation. Same idea with uh, heart focus, breathing, increase heart rate variability. Again, same idea. Speed wound healing and reduce blood viscosity. Um, let's see. Grounding is the most desirable and suitable intervention for both reducing blood viscosity and reducing inflammation simultaneously. Medical imaging tomography has been used to document cases of rapid improvement in acute inflammation after grounding. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, inflammation is where all pain comes from, yep. right? Absolutely. So you, so you start your day off in a you know meditative, coherent state, get that production of. Uh, beneficial hormones going, then open up your higher brain functions, uh, get your intuition, well, get your intuition of your heart, heart intelligence, open up your higher brain functions, start to design your life, then go outside, do your grounding for what do you suggest? A couple minutes? I mean, even if you could, 30 sometimes seconds. I do it for 30 yeah. seconds, you yeah. know, and I'll do it several times a day if I'm feeling frustrated or, you know, maybe, and I'll do it in between sessions to kind of just yeah. reset. Ground. Um, I do it several times a day. Sometimes it's 10 seconds. Sometimes I'll stand out there for a minute or two. Sometimes when I'm doing my meditations, I'll be out there for 10 or 15 minutes. So it just depends. But I, you know, I always prioritize at least a little bit and it makes the biggest difference if I, you know, when I take that time to do it. So yeah, do those things as it warms up here, you know, keep your shoes off. That's one thing that they introduced in the sixties, rubber sold shoes, right? That really disconnected people from uh, the earth. Well, rubber prevents electrical activity, right? Yep. So it's like, you know, shoes are great. Look, they save our feet, but like really, really take your shoes off, go outside, play with your kids or your pets, you know, out on the grass in the spring and summer. Um, you know, go out in nature, go hike, go, you know, this is the time where it's really important to start getting outside with all of these electrical interferences with these, you know, EMFs going on. It's really important to get outside and ground with this ground with the earth and, you know, get out in nature and experience all the beauty that it has and recharge and regenerate. Um, but first do your heart focused breathing, right? Do your heart focused breathing while out in nature yeah. and you'll feel like a million bucks. Yep. I absolutely love it. So, uh, hopefully that, you know, 
Give you some good ideas. Give you to a set couple good day. ideas to set up your day. Hopefully, use this, uh, you know, for more information or a heart rate variability monitor. They are on our website, myhealingworks.com. Uh, you can purchase those. It's an extra discount from HeartMath because of my affiliation, so you get a little extra discount. Um, and if you're interested in it, you know, the call or anything like that, uh, you know, look at our website. Um, but hopefully this resonated with you. And again, thanks for listening. We appreciate everyone that's listening. We don't know you, but we appreciate you. We know a lot of you. <laughs> yeah. We know some of you. <laughs> um, but yeah, again, thank you for listening to the Healer Winks podcast where our efforts are to to help you heal your heart and your mind so you can really start controlling the creation of your life and really start expanding with coherence into peace and joy and really um, happiness and carry that through not only moment to moment, but days and months and years and really shine that light to other people. So again, thank you for listening.